west of Oklahoma and Texas after tornadoes tore through both states, causing significant damage to schools, homes, and businesses. A 73-year-old woman in Sherwood Shores, Texas, was killed, and dozens more were injured during that severe weather event. One resident in Round Rock, Texas, shared the frantic moments as a tornado moved through her neighborhood. I felt like we were in Twister 2. Like yeah. Twister 2. That's what, exactly what it was like. Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed a disaster declaration for 16 counties, freeing up aid to residents yeah, impacted by the storm. Thousands are currently without power as utility crews work to clear roadways littered with downed trees and power lines. I just know that those in charge of uh, providing and restoring power are working around the clock to get that power up and running again. Meanwhile, folks in the deep south are now on high alert as the same system treks east to Louisiana, Alabama, and right here in Mississippi. These storms are capable of producing large hail, damaging winds, and the threat of tornadoes. The National Weather Service issued dozens of tornado watches and is asking residents to listen to any warnings issued by local officials. And after it leaves the deep south, the storm system will move into part of the southeast impacting cities like atlanta and charlotte on wednesday in meridian mississippi coming up he announced that they've tested positive saki says that she'll no longer accompany the president on his trip to europe clinton says that she's experiencing some mild symptoms but is otherwise feeling okay still ahead on fox 5 music and appeared to threaten the passengers as well. The driver and passengers all managed to escape before the suspect was taken into custody. 11 Alive's Doug Richards spoke to a man who was on that bus and has more on the frantic moments inside. The drama consumed much of the day at the Indian Trail Road exit near I-85. It ended peacefully, but not before some frightening moments. I was like very panicked. Like... It was pure chaos. Shuhei Morito was on the Greyhound bus traveling from Atlanta back to college at Clemson when he saw passengers start to panic and a man holding a pistol. One guy, he was wearing a like gray um, sweatshirt and he was, I, I don't know, he was just mumbling like all the time so I couldn't hear anything. Was he brandishing his firearm? I didn't see his firearm very well but it was like a very small, uh -huh. like this size. Like a pistol? Yeah, like a pistol, yeah. A suspicious person on the bus was acting erratic and presented a gun. At that point, the bus driver stopped and exited the bus, and the other passengers were also able to leave the bus during the time that police and SWAT were on scene. Marita was among those making what he described as a chaotic exit from the bus. One example, a police dog can be used to search public locations like gas stations where prior cases show guns will be stashed for protection ahead of the next potential drug sale. So far this year, the Atlanta Police Department has recovered 472 weapons. We're just in March, Council Member. And that is more than 400 weapons taken over the same period during 2021. So I hear you. I want us to have anti-gang messaging. It needs to be coupled with um, maybe mediation or a coming together of, of the gangs so that we can survive. In Pittsburgh, when authorities say 21-year-old Jayana Webb struck all three, her charges include third-degree murder and homicide by vehicle while driving under the influence. Utah's Republican governor says he will not sign legislation designed to ban transgender students from playing girls sports. Uh, Spencer Cox is the second Republican governor to veto a statewide mandate. Legislative leaders say they will meet again on Friday to talk about overriding Cox's veto. New at 10 tonight, Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis hosted an inaugural meeting and swore in the new LGBTQ plus advisory committee. Uh, the committee is designed to make sure that all parties involved in crimes against the LGBTQ community are treated fairly. Uh, this committee, which was started by one of Fulton County's deputies, also strives to educate police departments on what crimes against them look like and how to better handle them. It may look decorative, but this is a uh, six for six. Uh, they'll stop a bullet. <laughs> And it's got gun ports. Me laughter for backstabbers turn to tears faster. I wish for you no snakes shall slither past you. You have to.
to keep your vision clear Cause only a coward lives in fear My surroundings got only real powerful niggas here Real men, we have a code of ethics No question, no jealousies, no feminine tendencies We expect it, no gossip, no phony logic No counting your homie pocket Spending no expense for legal defense If your homie locked up No keeping tabs on who was the last who looked out under our Constitution. Democrats likely have the votes to confirm Judge Jackson on their own. While that would not change the court's 6-3 conservative leaning, it would make her the first black woman on the nation's highest court, a step Judge Jackson hopes would open doors for future generations. Let me see what I see up there. Scooter's laying there. <laughs> he was standing yesterday when I come through here. I knew he weren't going to stay that way. Seriously? Going over to the bathroom over here. Can't get there because of some dumb bicycle. An electric bicycle's in the way. I'm just wondering. If these people can understand what the app tells them to do, I wonder why they can't understand what that blue sign is over here. See that blue sign? That blue sign right there with the wheelchair on it. And the arrow? Well, guess what? That means this sidewalk has got to remain clear of this rental garbage. I think it's time we turn the rat squad loose. <laughs> Offensive by Ukrainian forces. Our Russian troops are said to be demoralized and weakened. Russian media reported 10,000 soldiers had been killed and then claimed to have been hacked. 1,500 Russian tanks, arms, and vehicles have reportedly been destroyed. And while the win is something for Ukrainian forces to celebrate, the port city of Mariupol continues to be bombarded by the Russians. In the latest update from city officials, at least 2,300 people have died in the siege, but they believe the true death toll is much higher. Mariupol is almost 99% destroyed. They bombed us for the past 20 days, dropped bombs everywhere. In an address today, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said more than 7,000 people were evacuated from Mariupol, but about 100,000 remain in the city in, quote, inhumane conditions under a full blockade, without food, without water, without medicine, and under constant shelling. Before the war, 430,000 people lived in Mariupol.